Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie. How are we doing today? I hope we're doing good. I hope we're doing amazing and I hope we're doing fantastic. Um, today I have, somebody's honking outside, rude. Today I have a lot of stuff that I'm doing. I have to do some chores, clean up some stuff. I might go somewhere with some friends tonight. I don't know. Um, but I really wanted to film and I wanted to do like a get ready with me. So here we are in front of my very summery mermaidy backdrop, which kind of matches my hair. It feels weird being on camera. It feels weird filming. It feels just, it feels not right. <laughs> I need to get used to this again. Um, yeah. If you guys would like to see how to achieve this look, if you'd like to hear me talk very briefly about what I have been up to recently, um, then mayhaps you should watch the rest of this video. Um, yeah. Okay, anyways, enjoy the video. Bye. This is really weird, because I haven't been on camera in a long time, and I have especially not been on camera um, in this new place yet, and I haven't filmed anything in this new place yet, so this is kind of weird. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the setup, so if the lighting is not great, I'm, I'm working on it, okay. I had this idea for kind of like a specific look that I really wanted to do. Um, I'm just getting ready for my day. It's like, it's like almost already two o'clock. I really tried to do this at like 11, but so much has just gotten in the way today. I'm gonna dip into the Natasha Denona Viva palette today. And I'm gonna start by dipping into the shade Tusk, this like really light neutral shadow. So what have you guys been up to? Life has been crazy in, I mean, the last week, two weeks alone, um, for me at least. And it's crazy to even fathom like just what transpired in, I mean, like the last few days alone. I'm gonna dip into the shade Prairie, which is this kind of like orangey brown shade there. Um, I'm like in between two jobs right now. Well, waiting for a job. I'm not at my, previous place of employment, um, but I was a few days ago. And I had like a whole schedule and everything. And um, yeah, now I don't. And that's a really long story that I'm just like not gonna get into today, maybe another day. Um, it's very, very fresh. So I feel like it's just, we just need to wait to talk about it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, like I've been like a free bird the last few days and it's been really hard because I haven't been as motivated as I want to be. Thank you so much. Depression. Like there was like a million things that I wanted to do these last few days and I have not done them, but I finally am starting to kind of crack on my like to-do list or get a crack on my to-do list, I should say. So yeah, um, one thing on my to-do list uh, was to film a video and I thought, you know, I'm just gonna get ready for the day. I'm gonna pop some make bond, take you guys with me as I do whatever kind of look I'm gonna do. And I have a backdrop up. Like, this is crazy. I'm in an office right now. We have an office. Um, our last apartment was like 700 square feet, but now we're at like 950. So we have like extra space and it's kind of nice and I'm really digging it. And we have a patio too. I love our little patio. We moved at the beginning of this month, or I, I suppose like the end of last month. We moved technically on like June 30th. So we've been in this apartment for almost a month now. I'm dipping into the shade Seed, this like really dark brown color. But yeah, I'm really happy with this apartment. We're like the most renovated, most recently renovated unit. So we're like the first people to have like used all of like the new appliances and stuff, the new like carpet, whatever. And I've been really been digging that. We have a pool at this apartment, which is really nice. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I really, really want to. I was I've really, really been wanting to uh, go outside the last few days and get some fresh air, but because our world is on fire, literally on fire right now, um, the air is filled with smoke and it smells like flames. <laughs> um, Cause we're like pretty close to the Canadian wildfires. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, the air quality is like really, really bad right now. And that sucks because I really, really want to go outside to get some fresh air to try and cure my depression. But that's just not possible because our world is on fire. I'm gonna go into my MAC Custom um, Blues and Greens palette. I am pretty sure 
that this is sour lemon. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like pretty sure. Anyway, it's a lime green. Um, I'm going to apply that to the inner corner of the eye. I realize I haven't really been telling you like what I've been doing. I've just kind of been like doing, yeah, taking this in the inner corner of the eye. This is kind of the cool idea that I had. I don't know, I wanted something kind of summery and I haven't really played with color in a while. So yeah, I'm kind of like leaving like the middle of the lid blank. And I'm debating on whether or not I want to do shimmer at all for the green, but I actually think I kind of like this the way that it is. So yeah, I'm gonna come back to the under eyes later. First, I'm gonna, I guess, work on the face. It doesn't matter if I tell you what I'm doing. It's like a get ready with me. I don't know. Okay, any whoozles. I have like almost no clean brushes right now. Um, I'm having to use like a bunch of random brushes that I almost never use because all the ones that I really like are dirty right now. Um, I've been doing a lot of weddings and a lot of bridal trials lately. So yeah, I, uh, I'm lacking on the clean brushes right now. That's one of the things that I really have to get done is cleaning my brushes like for sure. But I've been again, like not really motivated to do anything. So that's been really hard. By the way, that was the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. Um, I'm in the shade one because I'm light. I'm gonna color correct my under eyes a little bit. I'm really loving some Charlotte lately. Um, I'm gonna use the under eye corrector in the shade Fair. Okay, and for foundation, I'm gonna mix together the MAC Original Face and Body in C1 and the MAC New Studio Radiance Face and Body in C0. I'm gonna mix these two together. This is a lot more foundation than I really wanted. Oh, this is way too much. Oh my God. I haven't filmed in forever and my first time filming is like an actual disaster. It's fine. This is fine. I'm gonna do some just like concealing a little bit underneath the eyes. Um, luckily, okay, I don't know. I really have not been taking care of my skin lately, like at all. Um, I've just been like neglecting doing my skincare, which has been not great. Um, and I've kind of, don't judge me, judgment free zone here. I'm sleeping my makeup a lot and I have been fixing it lately by just not wearing makeup. But I haven't like, I mean, I cleansed my skin like this morning, I cleanse my face and everything, but um, I really have not been, uh, I don't know, just taking care of my skin in general. And that's been really hard. I forgot how much coverage this concealer has. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I should really, I mean, it says full wear. Yeah, I really shouldn't be surprised, but I haven't worn makeup in so long that I just forgot. And I especially have not worn this concealer in a really long time because it's more coverage that I've been like gravitating towards. Usually I've been using the Kosas, what is this one? The Revealer Super Creamy Concealer, I think, or something like that. Dude, the packaging on this thing sucks. I don't know, like there's like this giant crack and the top is all cracked. And yeah, it's a very like messy, messy concealer. I, I don't know, Kosas, I don't know who designed that packaging, but that was, it's not very good. I'm gonna set my under eyes with the Hourglass Veil Powder. You know what's so funny is I bought this, what, was it 2019? Yeah, I bought this in 2019 and it's 2021 and I still have it. Like the same, very, very same one. Just gonna set my under eyes. I'm debating on whether or not I wanna add like a pop of color to the waterline. I think I'm just gonna finish the lower lash line first and then see how it goes. I don't know. Last night was the first night that I slept in this apartment by myself because my boyfriend um, has been on tour. Well, I mean, for like a day, he went up to Fargo. Um, so last night, I one of my best friends over, we watched a little RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, and then I walked her to her car and she left. And then I fell asleep watching RuPaul's Drag Race. Then I woke up at like 3 a.m. and then I moved to the bed. And I have been waking up extremely late lately. I, I don't know like what it is, but like yesterday I woke up at like eight o'clock. My boyfriend was already gone. So I went back to bed and then I woke up at like noon, which is so late. And I felt extremely guilty because I always feel like if I sleep in late that I'm just like wasting too much time. And yeah, that automatically fills me with like an insane amount of guilt. So 
that's been fun. I think I do wanna add like a touch of an inner corner highlight here. I think I'm gonna do lashes really quick. So I'm just gonna throw some mascara on and then put on some lashes and then I'll just like be right back, I guess. Okay, lashes are on. I'm wearing the Ardell Naked Lashes in 4, 424. And I'm really hoping that my camera battery doesn't die. I'm having just like the hardest time right now. Okay, let me, t let me tell you. Okay, I started to do my bronzer, milk, baked, bronzing stick, okay. And then I was talking about how my camera battery is gonna die soon. And then as I said that, my card became full and I had to switch it and I don't know where I put the other card and I had to look for the other card. Um, and now I don't know where I put the other card. So I'm just like a huge, I'm a mess right now, okay. I'm an absolute mess. <laughs> just an absolute mess today, but also an absolute mess every day. I'm gonna try and like speed through this before my camera dies. Um, let's see if we make it. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in shade. Shade one. I might possibly go to hang out with some friends later on tonight. I don't know yet. I don't know. Um, I have some chores that I have to do. I have to do some laundry um, and clean up my kitchen. And then I also have to, there was more things that I had to do, but now I'm not remembering what they were. Yeah, and I have to clean my brushes. And um, like I said earlier, I've been doing lots of like bridal trials and weddings. So I've been really low on brushes. Um, these are like all of the clean face brushes that I have left. And I feel like that looks like a lot but compared to how many I actually have, it's not. I'm gonna go in with the Hyper Real Glow palette from MAC. I've been mixing, let me show you, these two colors, Flash and Awe and Light of the Party. Um, it's just like a really pretty like light champagne and a light gold and I just kind of dip back and forth and I apply that to the face. This is like one of the most, I would say like blinding highlights that I have and I've kind of really been enjoying it lately but I try not to apply too much because it's very easy to like go overboard with this. And then for blush, I'm like kind of stuck between two different colors. I'm stuck between this one from e.l.f. This is Turks and Caicos, I think, the putty blush. I really, really like these. This formula is insanely beautiful. I feel like that might be too bright. Or I could do, and I feel like this is too mauve though. I'm actually gonna go in with the MAC uh, Glow Play Blush in the shade So Natural. I love this one. It's like a really pretty nude peach color. And peaches go extremely well with green. They're a really great contrast. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do for my lip either. Haven't figured that out yet. I'm like torn between like a coral and then like a nude peach. I don't know. And then I should just apply a little bit too here because why not I've been liking that bridge of the nose blush lately and I originally thought it looked really stupid but now I've kind of been really liking it those who live in glass houses should not throw stones okay I'm really annoyed that I have so much stuff to do today because all I really want to do right now is play sims 4 uh cottage living I just want to freaking have my cow and my llama and my chickens and expand my farm and my crop. That's all I want to do. I have like multiple um, characters in Henford on Bagley now, like different saves, but I have multiple characters on Henford in Henford on Bagley. Um, one of them is a spellcaster. And then I also have a girl who um, has like a husband. And then I also have like a little lesbian couple. Yeah, I've got, <laughs> been playing Cottage Living quite a bit now. Okay, just put on the Subculture Lip Pencil from MAC, and now I'm gonna throw on a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick. Okay, and that was kind of it. Just like a quick get ready with me. I threw on like something relatively fast and simple, um, and now I'm going to do my chores. Yay. Any it feels really weird to be back filming again, but I'm really excited to hopefully be filming some more for you guys soon. If you guys like this video, then don't forget to like it. And if you'd like to see more of me, more from me, just hit subscribe and hit the bell button next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload sporadically. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for watching this kind of quick get ready with me. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye.